Good morning everyone and welcome to, the, to today's discussion. I'm Cassandra Vaynerchuk and we're talking on the fly. We're talking about um, leadership in suppression and we're in discovery around, I just viewed a performer, a musician who is working with a talented music artist who's, an, who's a writer and what happens oftentimes in this space of music is that the person who's the lead singer thinks that they're better than everybody else and they suppress the person that can actually make the difference for the audience. So we see it a lot with this new generation as they create music of a space of constantly living in poor me, victimization, uh, no love is real. Um, what's the other thing they do? They live in this place of, I want them to never forget what they did to me. It's like unbelievable. And then these musicians have millions and millions of people psychotically singing the words in vicious behavior. It's, it's absolutely insane. We all go through breakups, we all go through heartache, we all go through it because not everybody's perfect for one another and that's just life. However, these young girls think that when they make a decision that their decision is the decision that matters the most and it's escalated to the point where they are Gestapo. Now add in a money bag, add in a celebrity status, add in a content creation and you're literally seeing the most horrific female male relationships in all of time. Not to mention they do not even know how to make love to one another. They utilize uh, online dating as a, a SEX, as SEX workers. And then they expect and they don't get results and then they, they continue to bed hop. They're bed hopping, they're getting drunk all the time. It's like unbelievably unsophisticated as they proclaim themselves to be sophisticated because they can pretend to be a certain way. The fake it till that you make it culture is real and it's happening now. The posturing syndrome, which is called insecurity, it's absolutely insecurity, but it's absolutely the truth about a nation because we all are competing with each other versus helping each other. So this younger generation doesn't help anyone unless they're getting something in return. You don't help anyone unless you're getting something in return. And then when your way doesn't go your way, you cry like a crybaby and you blame it on someone else because you don't know how to be an adult because you were never taught how to be an adult because when you were 14, 15, 16 years old, you became a music sensation and you thought you were already grown up. Meaning when you're young, you don't know jack squat about jack squat. So when we hear songs about these young kids, like Olivia Rodrigo is a prime example of like the worst mu music that's ever existed and that so-called beef between uh, Olivia and, what's her name, is it Taylor Swift? Because she's trying to keep herself relevant. That's how immature they all are. Your music is talentless, your, your driver's license song is horrific. But the music industry wants you to go to that direction of disempowerment of the youth because that's how they're going to control you. So now what they do is they use their, their whispers and their soft voices to uh, manipulate the sounds of voices to retrain brain systems into thinking that's, that's attractive. When they weigh like 20 pounds. So now we're dealing with a, a retraction of education and movement forward where people don't want to do the work to go to college. It's a difference, like I can say that there's a difference between like Joe Rogan and Gary Vaynerchuk and all these, uh, those two, I'll specifically speak to those two because I know them the best. And the fact that they didn't like college, they went to college, Elon Musk speaks of it too, that they didn't like college, great. 
but you went to college and you did work associated to college and you may have not used the degree in the way that you thought you would use the degree and you expanded your education in other ways, but you're educated. Which gives them the go ahead to, for them to just not get educated. That's how ignorant the minds of this youth are, meaning they think they're just going to make a one minute video and it's going to go viral without having any sort of anything to teach because they're going to wear a bikini top and prance around in a bikini. And then the women will find a, a hot dude who's got money, which is probably going to be the age of Joe Rogan and Gary Vaynerchuk. And they'll just use that as their starter marriage. And you want to know that I didn't say anything about love here. That goes for the men too, by the way. They're looking how they're looking for a hot piece of ass to compete with the dude next door. So instead of like really trying to generate something for the youth, they're trying to self-centeredly produce garbage so they just can make money, so they can live a life of luxury going to these uh, parties of psychosis, which aren't even fun, by the way. They just like to occur a certain way to other people. Now tell me how that's a fulfilling life. Tell me how that's a fulfilling life. They don't even go through the motions of having kids so they can keep up with the Joneses to have another platform as they age themselves into a new area of existence so they can continue to keep the fans and destroy family. And that's where we're at right now with a 40 year old generation known as Kim Kardashian. If you saw her in the, in the, the, the premiere of the horror show, American Horror Story, we're literally living in a spider woman. She's like a spider woman with a pregnant stomach. Carrying the devil spawn. Um, that's Courtney. However, that's Kim. Like, that's her personality. That's why they made that character. And she thinks she's all seductive and sexy and trying to make the devil the, devil the lead. She has children, folks. Her career herself is more important than her own children. The act of conversating in an actress mindset is what you see when she's talking about her kids. We have evidential proof of her taking North to a inappropriate, several inappropriate parties and then leaving North on the side of a street on purpose with no one protecting her. She could have been kidnapped. And then there would have been a ransom and then there would have been a big news story. And now I just gave Kim an idea about North. Because that's how they think. That's leadership amongst this country right now and educating people on how to behave in relationships meaning there's one way to be with someone and we're digressing from the discussion of suppression and leadership but we're going to get back to that but i want to complete this thought and when you're dating someone in a spotlight it's not that big fucking a big of a deal it's none of your fucking business what they got going on however because of the way that you all act in operation around them and gossip means you have nothing going for yourself. So you don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to have conversations around things in your life because you do absolutely nothing. And so instead you go to the gossip columns and you talk about Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber and how miserable they are. Well, for some reason we're sitting here watching you, Justin, and you're still together. It's disgusting to watch. Although it sets a precedence for how women act in a relationship because how you're allowing Haley to treat you is how women out in the real world now treat their husbands. But they think it's okay because they're frou-frouing each other up with fancy voices and maybe they'll be TikTok famous. With no talent, by the way.
I mean, you want to understand that when you hit a certain degree of level of being seen by the public, that you now take on the responsibility of teaching the ethics, morals, and values that are necessary to keep keep this world running. I thought about it this morning when I was uh, awakening about uh, the women. No, excuse me. Our generation, the older generation, and then your generation, as in the Gen Z millennials. And when our our generation, like starts to retire and then your generation are now in the lead and i think about the horrors the horrors of what's to come which is the turning point of the world to uh violence and horrific behavior because now we're looking at an escalated version of the vivek ramwaskis and the obamas and the bidens Let's just even go with the Bidens because most of you know he's corrupt. However, you haven't done anything to take him out of office. You want to understand that when I'm speaking to Gary Vaynerchuk about our relationship, I'm literally speaking to each and every one of you because you are he is modeling everything that you all are doing. That's the point. And everybody on the planet is feeling and acting just like me, but they're doing it behind the scenes. Do you understand that? You're doing it behind the scenes and then you're showing up in a fake personality and then you're showing up to parties because your reputation of you being uh, so sweet is more important than you actually having a good life. Although you think money is a good life, which means you have no emotions or feelings. Which then in turn suppresses you from advancing your evolution in your businesses. And so now you're a terrible leader leading more people, but that's only because you faked it to the top. And then when you get to the top, that's still not enough for you. And then now you have to find other diabolical things to fulfill you up, which is what we're watching with the Kardashian family. They're never satisfied because they don't know what satisfaction is. So all they do is stir up drama. Now I want to divert back over to the discussion around leadership, and especially in like creativity. And there's always one in every every group. I've been in every group. You know, I've experienced it myself. That's why working by myself I find to be more empowering. There's uh, individuals that I feel like I may operate in a way similar to that, but only because I'm trying to suppress their anger. So you got to look at that a couple a couple ways, right? I know people that are extremely creative, but their attitude sucks so bad that they try to give this victimization attitude, like to 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 ruin the experience. So you got to suppress. You have to you have to push that shit out. So why would you create when you're in a shitty mood, right? Because you always want to put out. For the most part, you want to create in a place of like um, with the with a poss with a possibility of an intention of something good. You then want to take a look at people who have who are discovered or whatever, and you're creating a song, for example, with them. However, your version of the song is uplifting, and their version of the song is always depressed, victimized. You're never going to let me go because I said so. I'm going to ruin your career and I'm going to do it in a song with millions of psychotic women who will then bash you on a constant basis and that's how vindictive you are as a performer. So you have a potential to reach millions and billions of people to uplift them, but instead what you've decided to, is to talk about your old ass cardigan underneath somebody's bed versus a genuine memory that was left behind and your experience of you got what you got 
and have a memory with someone because there were some good times. So instead you focus on the negative instead of what you got in a lesson form, but because you already know everything. You already know everything. You're only 22, you know everything because that's the message that these 22 year olds were given by industry. You don't know shit. And it's funny because since you, you followed that path of thinking that you know everything, you didn't learn shit. So now you're 35 years old, you're 38 years old, you're 39 years old, and you still don't know shit. That's even if you're a freaking doctor. A dentist even. When that happens and when you're surrounded by somebody like that, they do something to the mind where your creativity is stopped. It's like putting a wall, an iron curtain up and it stops you from being able to do what you want to do, but instead you fuel their creative to where they succeed and you just kind of like are confused or your mind isn't clear and then you basically you even right now you see how my words are stopping it's like that and then you rob the world of a possibility of being uplifted because this person is so damn self-centered and that's the generation millennial gen z That's the generation millennial Gen Z. You're self-centered and you're egotistical and you don't honestly really even know what it means in an experience of yourself and you're not willing to take a look at how you're destroying the planet. Now my generation had its, its faults, so does the boomer generation. Every generation prior all has their flaws. And you wanna take a look at the 1970s and the flower child movement and know that those those old boomer people you call old were part of that generation and there's that mentality in all of their brains. No one ever thinks like that. Some people can still relate to themselves in the boomer generation when they were 25 because those are the glory years or so good years of, of freedom and joy and dancing and drinking and all those things, right? Our, uh, the, the 70s kids, the 80s kids have a whole other experience of our 20s. So it's interesting to me to watch any person date who's a gen, uh, what are we, zillennial or a um, gen X would ever consider d dating a millennial gen Z aside from being manipulated by them. Because they're so out of whack and so out of tune of frequency that it's bizarro to watch. If you want to take a look at a bizarre relationship, the even just a conversation between a Persian and a Russian and the difference in age generation and interaction, you can see it on camera in every interaction with Gary Vaynerchuk in accordance to the Persian Monavan as she spews garbage out saying how much she adores him. That's not a real relationship, folks. She's not a good actress. You do understand that she purposely places those um, videos in accordance to the Democratic Party, so I go off the rails. And there's always a risk factor for Gary's life for me to make these videos. Yeah, he continues to show up at the parties. Yeah, he's fine. And y'all are so ignorant to think that my shit's never going to go viral. However, we're only, I'm only 44, 44? I'm only 44 years old. And there will be a, a, a point at some point where you'll still be alive where my shit will be seen by somebody. It's just a matter of like who and when, because I've gone many, many different routes for this. 
to the point where I make videos on news broadcasts. You know, like pol politics will change. You know, Hitler is Hitler alive and is Hitler in office? So y'all don't they don't think in long term. They think in I'm the, I'm better than her and I'll do whatever it takes to take her out and they think it's by embarrassing me or hurting me so bad that I'm going to go off so bad on you all that I'll just quit or that you'll attack me like you did on camera Obama on the live yesterday where you invited a Pakistani and I showed you what these folks do. I showed you what the Chinese in business do with TikTok in the lives. They do weird shit in the lives. However, you don't say anything about it, which is the craziest part of all, but then you're the same people say that my children are important. So I'm the hero. I'm the hero. I'm the creator. Y'all are just uh, garbage teachers. Like everything you teach on these platforms. Uh, aside from Gary, Gary has his own little MO with education. He's very on point with everything he says. And I always like to go back to that after we've had a lesson in education in, in accordance to this garbage that the Democrats are putting upon us by working with psychosis. Because it's evolved. Like it's, it's almost sad to watch your parents and the boomer generation live in dementia. They're all in dementia, by the way. Because it'd be nice if we could just say that all of a sudden they just woke up, but we've still got the Biden administration in office. So that means nothing's changed until the, until the subliminals get taken out and we expose it on real news media. Meaning if, you're, if your video has zero views and you're reading community guidelines, it, it tells you that you're being singled out by a company that knows you're right, which is what China did to me yesterday when they community guidelines my video. When China community guidelines me yesterday, China, by the way, we're actually in a communist country which also creates suppression, which is why artists aren't able to create. So if you're a content creator of any level, you should actually be fighting against what you're fighting for because you're a victim for claimingly to be on their side because it's the least resistance, but you're that really that weak. See, people in this country don't really understand the benefits of living in this country because they're spoiled rotten and then when they go to other countries they don't actually live in the country so they don't really understand most of them when they go to other countries they don't go to historical sites they do what motivan does which is go sit on a yacht and go to a fancy party and look cool which means she doesn't really understand um, the culture of a country nor does she understand people because she only thinks of herself as a person that matters. Meaning her game is she's always trying to manipulate the other person to think the way that she thinks. And it really has no education factor to it. The way she thinks is I'm attractive. That's all she does. The eat clean bullshit is nothing but garbage. Eat clean. Okay, thank you. Bye. And now you're going to come out with a cookbook so you can look cool in a picture book? That's embarrassing. She has never, ever once taught anything about clean eating. How do I know this, folks? You really want to ask yourself this on branding yourself. Uh, I wish I could remember your name, but whenever I... I You'll come up again one day. I met this, uh, I mean, there's a couple girls who I know for a fact are fitness influencers. Okay, real, real deal shit. And she would teach recipes, real recipes. And she would share the recipes that she and another woman named Jamie Eason, I got the lady's name from Jamie Eason and James Wilson. 
and then she would educate people on recipes. She would literally take the time out of her day to go onto Facebook and make videos to educate on real stuff, science stuff, effective. Then she made a cookbook. This chick is all she's saying is there's some shrimp on a plate. Eat clean. This is how you peel a cucumber. Eat clean. This is how you wash beets. Eat clean. So you want us to all eat raw cucumber and raw beets and go to the store that's already been caught for you and then just get some shrimp and then eat that. And that's your recipes. As Capone makes your meals, as you order off the, 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 the menu to get food brought to you, and as you literally show us in your own Facebook platform where you host a Christmas party, see a person who is a true blue needing to make a cookbook is a chef. A chef who makes her food, so she basically shows you she doesn't cook, but she's going to educate you on a cooking book. Example is Gary's always talking about, uh, it's like Postmates or something, Posture Mates or something like that, it's some food service they have in New York City. And you always see a to-go bag or box on her counter. And you always see her at a coffee shop. And she's always in the fruit and vegetable section, picking up watermelon or picking up strawberries or blueberries or whatever the fuck she's picking up. You don't cook watermelon. What is the point here is that that is the new future of creator because she knows people to get her shit out there. Now it's always been done before, but the concern we have is the fact that the Democratic Party are making this the future norm of education for the audiences. And not only that, but the bitch ain't even American. Not only that, we've got the fiance to be a man who is going to be and is globally known which puts everybody's life at risk for this mind manipulation shit that she's trying to put on which means that the most diabolical person in another body just like Kim Kardashian is trying to start a career to destroy women while everyone's sitting back and applauding it which tells us that this has been done before that there's a suspicious behavior going on within the, go the government. And that V Friends is at risk, which is what? Children. Take a look at the downfall of your children. Save me, mommy, save me. Please don't let that mean lady. I don't want her to help me. I don't like her. She's scary and mean. Oh. Oh. It's okay. And that's what I have for you this morning on this Sunday morning. As you all... So all of you in this elite group support support that. This is that's what you support. That's what you support in industry. That's what you support in Hollywood. That's what you support on television. That's what you support in politics. Our own government is selling little kids to trafficking. The sound of freedom is your evidence, and there's other doo doo shit. And you're too afraid to help the children. They're babies. How are they supposed to get out of that? 
It's your duty as an adult not to promote the, the workers who promote trafficking, which is what Mona Van does. She promotes sex trafficking. Her outfit where she stands on the corner of the street in a prostitute outfit shows she supports trafficking. Kendall Jenner supports trafficking. Kim Kardashian supports trafficking. And plain and simple, I do not support trafficking. Meaning these are all self-righteous women that you are sed seductively looking at and jacking off to? Is that what you're jacking off to? Is that what you're jacking off to is Kim Kardashian in some weird pearl dress while she abuses her child in front of everybody? While you continuously as an industry support it because you're liberals. A liberal means no laws, no rules, and you do whatever the hell you want and there's no ethics, morals, and values. I would say liberals are the worst, but a Democrat is the same thing as a liberal. Although Democrats try to control the liberals. Money and power. We still have tons more work to do, folks. And I'll continue to produce badass content while you all produce garbage. I'm gonna, like, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand in front of the, the grocery wall. I'm a doctor. And then you're going to ask me a question and I'm gonna remember the script. And I'm gonna talk about sea moss. And you put it in water and then I'm going to remember the next line, and the next line, and the next line. You're a doctor. You're going to call yourself a doctor, which means you're, again, we're looking at illegal behavior. And it's rampant over the internet. So the wrong people are being seen by the masses, which is why we're dealing with this catastrophe of the United States of America, but it's not just here in America, it's across the globe. And this country to me is probably the most embarrassing. This country is embarrassing. Millennial Gen Z's of this country are embarrassing. You're all embarrassing though, but this one in particular, because of Hollywood. And the, what's that movie with Ashton Kutcher and Reese Witherspoon? I recommend you go take a look at Killer, The Killers, and then go watch just, what is it? The one with, the new one with Ashton. And go look at his transformation in what Hollywood used to be and where it is today. I'm requesting you to do this because you'll see a huge shift in energy, performance, storyline, and talent. And that's called leadership suppression. And then Therese, it's more about winning than it is actually about educating an audience on how to be in relationships. Because they're also victimized when they're the victim, the victimers, the assaultants, the one assaulting other people. That's the comedy. So the victims are acting like they're victims, but they're actually the ones that are assaulting everyone. And they have their entire life. And so they just gotta wait for that moment for you to relax. And then they get you. It's like, looks a little like this. Oh my God, and I'm not gonna do it officially, but it's like, oh, hello, gotcha. Now she'll trust me and she'll do whatever I want her to do. That's how it works. Hopefully one day you'll start realizing the true value of the work that I speak out into the internet and you'll start seeing that 
Um, there's a lot of a lot of things to be discussed in momentum forward. However, nothing can shift and change until you accept your denial, accepting where you are, and then lo looking for ways to evolve yourselves in real form of work, which is probably going to be a lot of crying and taking responsibility and uncomfortableness, which is how you get out of the box that you've been put in. Because really these people that are like Reese Witherspoon, they're in a box, but it's an evil box. And then they, they like don't know how to step out of the box to even really authentically be a good person. And we sure as hell ain't teaching them. But you wanna understand that there is a lid to them, which means that you will and can overcome them. That's the point of this conversation about Reese Witherspoon and her fake phony personality. They're only like in a box. They only do, they like literally live in a vicious cycle. That's all they do all day long. Kim does the same thing. They all do this. Mona Van does the same fucking thing. It's like reading a book if you're aware of it, right? Same story over and over. What a wonderful life. Well, I'm a workaholic. Same story. Thanks for watching.